Let me see if Arn is open to matrimony. Yeah. You sure he's the father? Yeah, yeah, absolutely he's the father, yes. Pretty sure. This movie might as well be called A Week in the Life of Eddie Mannix. Trouble is, if you don't really care about Eddie Mannix, you're gonna be bored. I'm talking about Hail Caesar this week on ReviewsForTheRestOfUs.com. So Hail Caesar is the latest offering from the Coen brothers who are known for their quirky, gritty movies like Fargo, No Country for Old Men, The Big Lebowski. This time they're taking a swing at kind of a drama comedy. Sort of. It stars what seems like everybody in Hollywood. You've got George Clooney, Scarlett Johansson, uh, you have Channing Tatum, oh my goodness, lead, lead actor Josh Brolin, Jonah Hill. I mean, it just goes on and on and on and on. And you'd think, with that kind of star power, this movie would be phenomenal. The problem is, it's just not. Now, if you're a Coen Brothers movie fan, sure, you'll like it, because it's more of the same Coen Brothers. But if you're not, if you're kind of like the rest of us and you're just looking for a movie that's entertaining and fun and you can follow, you're gonna have a tough time with this one. It's, it's more or less about the story of Mannix, who is a production director at Capitol Studios in the Capitol Picture Studios in the 50s, and his crazy life where he has to manage actors who act out and do stupid things and get abducted and all that kind of stuff. And at the heart of it, it's a story about one man and his struggle. That's great, but you kind of lose that in all the directions the movie's going all over the place and it's just kind of weird. and. Unfortunately, you're probably gonna find yourself checking your watch. So because of that, I can't recommend you see this in the theater. I recommend you just wait and see it on Netflix, uh, Redbox, something like that, because frankly, there's better options out there right now. If you do see this movie though, know that there's some innuendo and things like that that make it not terribly kid-friendly. 13 on up, nights out, nights in, really, that kind of thing. This movie's great for that. Hey, if you're not in the mood for Hail Caesar or you just want to take my recommendation and skip spending that kind of money at the theater on it, a movie I can highly recommend you see in the theater is The Finest Hour, starring Chris Pine. Phenomenal true story, still in theaters, totally worth checking out. We'll see you in just a few days again here on ReviewsForTheRestOfUs.com when we talk about the highly anticipated, not your grandpa's Marvel comic-based movie, Deadpool. On ReviewsForTheRestOfUs.com, reviews for movie fans, by movie fans.